هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Well, I'm waiting for uh, Xbox for May 22nd to upload. Uh, I'm in the process of doing that. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out which show I want to watch on TV. There's either Totally Spies, or I think there's, a, yeah, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guy. An old white TV program, so I don't know. I think I'll do this, I'll flip back and forth between the two. <laughs> that way I get to watch both, both shows at the same time. Yeah, I did... I ended up working uh, a, a lot later than I expected to last night. Um, <laughs> I finished I finished the pro the product list early, earlier than I expected to, and then um, I added some new stuff to it. But that added actually added added a, actually added a lot a lot more time. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, uh, sort of changing up. Uh, 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 let me changing up the whole uh, X Plus. Just not change a lot, a little bit of a change to cover more of the uh, uh, some of the some of the, the um, I don't know how you say um, not say erratic uh, times that are, yeah well kind of erratic times that were up more expected. So sometimes I'll think of something in the middle of build in the middle of the night and I have to get up and work on it. So this is kind of where uh, uh, I'm kind of sort of sitting in this thing here where I would like to do uh, like Nerds RL and have the last thing of the day, the last segment of the day, but uh, uh, there really isn't really any last or first segment of the day. It just, uh, uh, there's times when I go to sleep and there's times when I'm awake. And sometimes they're, you know, it's 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 somewhat similar to a standard bedtime, but at the other time, then there's no similarity at all. It's just, it's just that I'm I'm going just simply to lie down for a little bit to get some get some get some Z's uh, while uh, the computer's just doing some work. Uh, and then I just get up and, and, and check on the computers in between. Uh, if I'm going to bed at five, six o'clock in the morning, and people, uh, and sometimes some of my customers, that's how I make my money is I have customers come by and need something or want something, then even, let's say I went to bed at six and they come by at nine or whatever, I have to get up and attend to the customer. So, um... That kind of it, it, it means that you're not actually getting a full sleep. You're 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 sleeping, but you're not sleeping. And this is kind of the thing that, that happened as I'm I'm working on one of my customer systems. I'm bringing my customers over to uh, to Linux now. I'm just, uh, I'm, tell, I'm buying. Uh, I have a dealer who gets me refurbished systems. Uh, I refurbish the systems and get the systems to these customers uh, with Linux on the desktop and then I support them I support the product through a basically basically like it's like having your own genius bar uh, that's the way it works um, and uh, I said they, sometimes they come all hours they sometimes they don't come at all I mean th there's not a lot of rush of co uh, customers but uh, sometimes the, you, you 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 can't sleep because of it and then of course, there's, if the mail if the mail drops something out where you get a courier package or, 
now uh, next door for some reason they're still doing construction so there's construction going on all around uh, there, there's a whole variety of things <laughs> if you're a type of person that noise bothers you while you're sleeping you can't if you have to have absolute quiet to sleep this isn't the place to sleep you can't you'd be you'd be a wreck because you wouldn't be able to sleep the whole time uh, I got. I kind of used to be like that, but not anymore. It, once you get used to, once you get into sleep dep 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 deprivation, you start learning how to sleep, no matter where you are, and what time it is. You, if if you got some free time to get some sleep, then that's what you do. Even if it's like ten, fifteen minutes. <sighs> So I've learned to sleep sitting up, I've learned to sleep standing up. Uh, I can even sleep a little bit while I'm walking. So that's sort of the way I do my stuff there. Uh, I've got uh, another another load of uh, another uh, another load of filming to do today. Uh, I also have to start uh, once again. I have to clean up my systems uh, and sort of rearrange how I'm doing things. Uh, because I, once again, I'm, I'm sort of topping that limit. When you're getting close to the limit of, of, of the hard drive or your, your, your library system, you got to look around and see what you can really do. It in, in, in the process, now has to be more than once a week. You have to do it on a more regular basis. You, like, like every four days, you have to go in and clear something. You have to make sure that you're not putting in duplicate files. You, got, you, you know, you're not uh, sort of uh, really sort of taxing the system too much. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at things right now. Uh, I look might be thinking of getting a larger hard drive even for here for the uh, video rendering because that that makes a difference as well. Uh, we'll see what happens though. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see you in the next segment. Uh, right now, we're still waiting for uh, for this to upload. Uh, it's about uh, just about nine o'clock. Well, it's ten to nine. And I got back from food shopping just about maybe 10 minutes ago. Checked the video that I was uploading to see it if Apple loaded correctly, and I did that. Uh, went to do what's called my final check to see if the, if everything was okay with the video when it uploaded. So you actually watched the video, and I found that the uh, music tracks I used for a backtrack, uh, an error had crept in the rendering, and the what was supposed to be the background track were too loud. It went up to full, up to up to uh, the, the gain was full 100% on it, and so it wasn't proper background music. So uh, I'm re-rendering it again. Went back, found the mistakes, uh, re-rendering it, and uh, gonna upload it again. So I've got another hour's worth of uh, rendering and editing. So I thought this time, uh, well, I'm waiting for this, and I'm watching. Uh, uh, basically the Canadian version of Disney Channel, it's a family channel. Uh, I'll have a little Doritos. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do now. I'll have a little Doritos while I'm waiting for the computer to do its work. I finished the IT work that I have for one of my customers here. I upgraded, uh, I actually got him a new laptop. I, 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 I'm a person, I've, I, I've said this before, I do a lot of refurbished work. And so now I'm getting friends and customers uh, refurbished computers for a lot cheaper. And rather than putting Windows on it, I put Linux on it and support the Linux uh, just the way uh, Apple, you go to an Apple Genius Bar, my, my customers come to me and I'm their Genius Bar. And I put on and maintain Linux on their systems so uh, they can actually get a system that runs like Apple, that runs like a, like a, like a Macintosh but uh, for significantly less. So that's what, that's what I've done here. So now I'm going to have some of the chips here. And I'm going, but I was going to try in front of you, and these are the uh, Chipotle uh, Smoky Barbecue, but I've learned from the last video when you saw me eating the, the uh, raisin nuts that I like in there that uh, it's not such a good idea to eat on camera uh, I have this sort of thing, I've had it for a long time, where every time I chew my jaw cracks, you hear that, and so, 
rather than chewing and eating on camera, uh, I'll probably come back in a little, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour after everything's, uh, uh, everything's done, uh, and say something a little bit more. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, it's going to be another one of those long nights. Um, it's just about 2.30 in the morning. Uh, just finished looking at some uh, GIMP tutorials. Uh, there are a variety of things I'm going to do in GIMP. I set uh, two computers up uh, to do the Linux Music uh, to do the Linux Music Studio. I have this one here. And I have another portable one. Uh, the portable one is because uh, uh, it, around 7 o'clock in the morning I'm going to be going uh, to my parents' house so I can take care of my mom again. Uh, I'll be there all day long, so it'll be another uh, day of medical all day uh, on, on Thursday. Not much, though. It's not, it's not as it, it, she does most of the stuff on her own. Uh, it's just a matter that, that that someone needs to be there, and uh, and you know, my dad's uh, going out for the day. To uh, he's got a lot of work to do, so uh, I have to uh, make sure you know make sure that she does all right, and that she's you know, it, it, her hard the hard part that she's having is that, uh, and this is sort of I, I guess I understand that when your your mobility is restricted. You get anxious and you want to move quicker, and she has this kind of anxiety issue where she de feels that she has to push herself to do more than she should actually be doing, and this causes more problems. So it's more of an issue that I have to slow her down than anything else, uh, uh, and make sure that uh, when she does something that she does it out in a in, in more of a stepwise fashion because as you go along and as you're being able to do more there's a tendency to forget that the hip is still healing uh... and for those of you who don't know the, 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 the hip they, they, they make a fairly uh, a, 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 a considerable uh, uh, what most people consider is a sizable incision and then they pull the muscle apart that you know, not like rip it up, but just really part it so they can get out the bone and replace the hip bone. And this is what was done. This is the sort of the second time. This was a, 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 a this was a repair operation that was done because the previous op operation something had gone wrong. They found several year, you know several years later that there was. There was an issue that needed to go that they needed to go in and repair. Uh, this was not any, through any fault of her, uh, for what she did. It was just there was a malfunction, a, a, a an issue with the uh, the implant with the uh, with the hip joint that they had put in that they had to go in and, and sort of correct. And so now she has to. We're watching her eat uh, uh, because she has to keep her hemoglobin up. Uh, she has a tendency, uh, in some cases, and this is what happens when, uh, as you start getting older, to, to some people, is that um, because they aren't as active, the view is that you have to uh, reduce the amount of food that you eat. And while that in certain cases, it's true. Uh, there is also the issue that as the body ages sometimes and the person becomes less active, the body becomes less efficient. So as you start reducing the food, the body becomes less efficient at, in its metabolism, meaning that you are not uh, properly absorbing nutrients the way you should. Uh, rather than needing less food to give you the same amount of nutrients, you actually need more food. So, the the reduction of food can act as it can have a, a a multiplied effect in terms of reducing a person's nutrients that they're getting in ter you know for uh, in this case the body has to heal it has to regenerate the uh, the tissue it has to de regenerate a, a lot of the uh, blood that was lost and that requires. Uh, more nutrients, not less, 
and if the body is not getting enough, then other problems set in. So you know, there, there has to be this sort of. I mean, she knows this, but there's also the, the, you have to be in there to sort of remind her of these different things. So that's what will be done tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, actually not tomorrow, in a few hours. I'm still waiting for uh, one of my friends, one of my customers to come by and pick up a computer that I've been working on for him. It's a Linux system. So I, I, uh, so I, I, I'm probably going to go to bed and just lie down for a little bit and we'll see what happens later on. I don't know, you know. So this is going to be another two day, uh, another two day uh, uh, X plus. Anyways, I'll see you in a few hours uh, when my friend when my friend comes to pick up the, the, the computer. Well, so it's just about four o'clock in the morning, and this long day is continuing. Uh, <laughs> my friend slash customer just picked up his computer. Having my uh. Cup of hot. No, I my chocolate milk. I'm a chocolate milk, milk fanatic. And I saw in the Nerds are all comment that somebody else has uh, chocolate milk and cereal as well. That's what I usually, that's what I have. Um, that's what I'm a, I'm a fan of, so. <sighs> in just about three hours, uh, I'll be leaving and, uh, Going to my mom's house, my parents' house. Yes, I got I got the bizarre life. I've got the, the not a bad life, but the bizarre, bizarre doesn't have to be bad. It just you know not the usual uh, standard nine to five, you know standard what I call man type of stuff because supposedly I'm a man. Uh, although it doesn't always appear that way to, to many people. Uh, if you hear, if you listen, we'll give you a little bit of a listen here. Hear the ticking in the background, that's my clock. I think every, if you're a physicist, that you need to have one of these old uh, pendulum clocks, these analog clocks, I calibrate it with the computer in terms of getting its accuracy for the time. But uh, here's where the interesting physics comes in, is that you always have to keep recalibrating things, not because of friction, or inaccuracy is necessarily in the clock itself, but because the way physics operates, and the way physics operates is is this: uh, the gears inside are metal, and as the temperature heats up, the metal expands, meaning that the cycle is longer. Conversely, when the temperature is cold the gears, the metal gears, contract, shortening the time for uh, each revolution, shortening the time on the clock there. So basically, in the winter, the clock speeds up, and in the, in the summer, the clock slows down. And in, the, in, the, in, in between time, between spring and fall, there's a transition point where you have a change in temperature that throws off the clock on a regular week-to-week, month-to-month uh, basis. So, in the spring and fall, you have to readjust the clock on a more regular basis than you do as if, as if when you reach the the final, uh, so the end point temperatures in the summer and winter. Once you've got a pretty stable uh, 
to the stable ends of either cold or hot, the you don't necessarily you don't have to do the calibration you do when the the temperature range uh, is now starting to, to to either creep forward or creep backwards. Uh, when you're going from winter to summer, you're going through spring, and your temperature difference. Uh, let's say let's say you have the difference between night and day of 10 degrees. So it could be 56, it could be 50 degrees at night and 60 degrees in the morning or in the after, by the afternoon. That's your high and low. Track that forward to the summer where you have a low of, let's say, 7 degrees and a high of 80 degrees. And you, you'll see how you'll actually have to adjust your clock as the temperature differential moves from the 5060 to the 7080 range. And it's quite, in, it's quite interesting to see the physics at, at play there and sort of say, ah, there's the reality of the physics that, you that you've been working on. Anyways, my eyes are closing on me, so I'm going to take a little bit of a rest for about three hours before I move on to my next thing. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, the days have that habit of morphing into more than one day. I'm working on that long haul from Wednesday. So basically, we're still on Wednesday's vlog. Even though it's Friday morning at 1 o'clock in the morning. Because there's been no fundamental sleep. You know, no. Uh, throughout, there have been maybe one or two hours here or there, but uh, in terms of shutting off and 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 um, going to bed, that hasn't occurred. So, and that 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 that, that happens uh, occasion <laughs> occasionally. It happens. To, it seems to happen almost on a weekly basis. If you wa start watching this, you're gonna see. Uh, where days uh, morph into each other and there's very little sleep in between. Uh, so, yeah, I was at, and that is, I was at my mom's house. Uh, she had her um, had hip surgery and was having a little something to eat right now, having some Rice Krispie snacks and uh, a banana and some uh, some uh, some chocolate milk, and one of the things that uh, that occurred today is it, 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 it's not that, and this is sort of, I guess, can sort of put things into perspective, given that we are in the Canadian the, the Canadian healthcare system, and people say, well, the Canadian health system is as good as the United States, or it's more that. Because uh, my aunt, who is in Washington D.C., my mom's sister, uh, three weeks ago suffered a, a, from a collapsed lung. She was rushed to the hospital. Spent about two weeks right now in ICU. She's been out of ICU for less than a week, and now the hospital is already talking about sending her home within two to three days. And the story was very similar in the room where my mom was for her hip surgery. There was another person there who didn't have one family at home and two had no, like, yeah, my mom has family at home. But I'm also an also an MD. I've got my background in, in my. Uh, I'm basically a medical scientist, so I know my stuff. But both, in both the Canadian healthcare system and in the U.S. American healthcare system, regardless of how much is being paid or not being paid or who's paying it, patients are being sent home early and being left to fend for themselves.
and this is a, I view this as a particular problem. Because, right now, unless there's an absolute emergency and you're being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance, that's the only way you're going to get any access to health care at all. This is the state of health care in both Canada and the United States. And the situation that if they keep going the way they are, and right now is the Ontario government, instead of cutting back on the entertainment budget, cut back on health care, they felt that the problem with the health care system were the doctors and began cutting back on surgical procedures and cutting back on fees, the doctor's fees and stuff like that, because, of course, you know, with the health care system, if it weren't for the doctors, there, were, there wouldn't be any problems, right? The, without a uh, health care system, without doctors, would be a perfect health care system, according to the, uh, the, our government, which is the social left government. They're like Obama. And for Obama's uh, position, from the left position, uh, the problems in health care uh, come down to the doctors who are fundamentally elitist and aren't really needed anymore. So as long as you get rid of the doctors, you'll be fine. And that's what... Uh, Ontario is now starting to proceeding to do. They're starting to push and limit doctors. Even though they've been saying to people all along that they're going to support and promote do uh, doctors and having more doctors, at the end of the day, what they ended up doing is they ended up cutting uh, uh, the, the, the salaries the, uh, that the doctors received. And what a lot of people don't understand is that people say, oh, the doctors receive so much. Well, the doctors, what the doctors are receiving isn't simply a salary, it's to pay for all the costs. That includes their offices, the equipment, the training. Uh, I mean, you, uh, an average doctor spends 15 years in school. And there are student tuition fees, there's student loans, there's, a lot, there's an enormous amount to pay off if you're going to become a doctor. And if people are going to say to you, oh, you're not worth it. Right, but at the same time, they don't mind paying. Uh, I know people who are paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month for the cable and cell phone bills. You're paying two hundred and fifty dollars a month, but you don't want to pay anything for your doctor. Then you can imagine the type of doctor you're going to get. Well, if you're not paying anything, you're not going to get a doctor. And that's actually what's happening. If you're not paying anything, you're not going to get a doctor. It's that. It's, it's, it's very that. It's that simple at this point in time. Is that the social left solution is that if you're not paying for a doctor and you can't pay for a doctor, that everyone has to have equal access to the doctor, to the health care system, well, except for the leaders who get their own private system, because they're important, you know, to the system, because they are the leaders, they are the top-level intellectuals, uh, then you're not going to get, you're not going to be able to see or get access to a doctor. Um, this is, it's a, this is the situation that's unfolding. And I think it's, it, if you look at what's going on in the government, the government spends billions of dollars to subsidize the entertainment industry in, in Ontario and Canada. I think mean, most of the inter entertainment industry in Canada, like 95%, is government regulated, is government supported, is government funded. In other words, Basically, when they're making a movie up here, and it's called Ontario and Canada, uh, the ho ho Hollywood North, that's being done at taxpayers' expense. Uh, because the taxpayers are funding this. And, of course, the uh, when you throw free money at these uh, studios, they're going to go, oh, yeah, great, free money. Right? And that's why they come up here. The reason why they're coming up to Toronto, the reason why they're coming up to Ontario, the reason why they go to Vancouver is because the government is footing a lot of the bill. Yet, when it comes to health care, when it comes to dealing with the poor and needy, the money that's needed is never there. And I'm not talking about Republicans here. I'm not talking about conservatives. I'm talking about when uh, liberals, Democrats, socialists are elected. This is what's going on. 
And the thing is, is the question you have to ask in your mind is, do you want these lies? And for my my choice is that obviously I don't want these lies, so it would be no surprise to you, even though I'm an independent, that I'm more on the Republican side, not necessarily in, in, in the conservative side, not necessarily because I like Republicans or conservatives, but because they're the people who will tax me the least. They'll stay out of my life more than everyone else will. And that's, and that's the only factor. So, you know, when you're going to vote in the year, in the year coming, if, if you're an American watching this, consider. You know, what you're going to get out of it. Look at Canada. Look what's happening in Ontario. Look at how Ontario cut back its health care system. And then consider what, then think about what you want what you want out of the whole the whole situation. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave you here with that little thought. And, uh, well, maybe talk to later if, 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 if I want to make one more comment. Uh, otherwise, everything's going to go to the editing bay, and I'll see you in the next uh, 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 X+. Plus. Take it easy. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.